welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Woo, that plane just went close to the skyscrapers. Um, ne today what we wanted to do was basically work on the back row here. Uh, maybe put uh, some stuff in here. There's um, basically what I've been adding uh, was the, the, the city uh, on the kind of like Palincina type thing. Um, there's that park that we still need to develop. I wanted to think about putting some buildings in here and uh, we might be able to create that park a little bit better over on this side. Um, over on this side we might actually add a little bit more buildings along this stretch I think. We'll probably do that. And I will see what else we can put in here. I'm not sure what other options we have. I want to keep this pretty clean for our tourism industry, so no industrial buildings on this side. Um, over on this side we have the garbage and uh, boiler, so that's all over on there. That could be the dirty area, I guess. Uh, we also have a bunch of farming in uh, fertile soil over on this particular side, so we might be able to put farming over here. Uh, we'll see how uh, we can develop that a little bit better like currently what we have is this farming industry But it's like really m mashed together and not very well planned So might be able to fix that make it a little bit better over on the other side plus. It's really close to the industrial area which Could be part good and part bad <laughs> so we'll see if we can't do that We also have this area that we can develop in as well but over time, I want to basically rezone all this and make it a little bit better. Um, we know more techniques now that we can basically make these buildings and stuff a little bit better for density. And I'm sure some of these, like this one for example, is not producing as much people as possible. So we might be able to fix that up in the future. So that's why I'm not really developing too much in this area at the moment. But over here we have... Um, farming and we have a whole bunch of other stuff that we can fit in so we'll see if we can't work that in today so let's start with the park uh, we'll start working with the detail and stuff here I think my volume is way too high I think I turned it up last night to hear a video on YouTube <laughs> sometimes people's audio isn't the greatest I'm sure mine isn't either so um, I know I have had audio problems in the past all right, so let's uh, place some of these trees down uh, to match the park. We'll kind of space them out, you know, fair distance. And we might put some...
you then. So I remember putting a subway system down below here. Uh, we could connect that up for transportation. Uh, that will get a little bit more traffic in, uh, I think. So we might be able to bring it over. Uh, let's see, we have a bus stop over on this side. So And it's close to our uh, tourism uh, building. So we might be able to put that in there. Maybe a hotel or so. I'll see what we can fit in as well. So we'll see if we can't uh, put a... Okay, what do we have here for options? We just have one route going through here, I think. Okay, so... Yeah, I figure what we'll do is we'll just put a, a single stop in. Uh, subway... Is this above ground? I don't know where the... Oh, that's train. I don't want train. I want metro. Um, let's see here. Okay, that's a cross section. I don't really know if we need a cross section, more or less. Above ground station. Um, this is a elevated one. Oh, that's. Is that a ground one? Yeah, I don't think that's ground one. This is ground one though. So we could do that. That would cause traffic congestion, though. Elevated one might be a little bit better. And we got it right between two stops here, too, right? So we could do that. Uh, that will be a little bit uh, nicer to look at as well. And then we can kind of bring it under that way, I think. Yeah, I think I like that the look of that. Okay, and then we can go ahead and just uh, set up the line to kind of go over here. Just trying to think of the view. So we'll kind of bring it around like that, and we're gonna need. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, bring this down a little bit. I don't know if we'll be able to lower that a little bit. Go to rail. There we go. Make sure this is set to that value. And we'll extend over just so we don't have to worry about the road. And then we'll try to bring it down, I guess.
Okay, so I got a basically like a little tent city thing set up here in just where the railroad or the subway system goes down. At the moment, they don't stop here. We should probably set that up. Um, make sure that they go and stop at the station. Make a couple lines there just so they, uh, okay, he didn't go through, but they will, they'll, they'll stop there now. Um, but yeah, so basically we're generating a, just a tiny bit of revenue. Okay, not anymore. Um, we were making a little bit, uh, 160, I think it was, uh, from the revenue from that. And people are just coming here. Sometimes they can come through the playground. It depends where they're coming from. But uh, when they exit or enter through here, I think they get charged for it. Uh, we can kind of keep an eye on it. And it, it's only costing us like $80, so it's not like a huge amount uh, to actually maintain this park. And it looks like a lot of people are actually coming in here. Yeah, so we're making $112 now, so it's not too bad. Um, as far as this area, we'll still decorate that. Uh, I want to get started on this part over here and um, plan out some of the uh, buildings. Now, one of the things that we had discussed last episode was making a little bit more high-rises in this general area. So we want to put them along uh, this particular part. Uh, we'll see if we can't get some of them built up. We want some lower commercial buildings on this part. Um, kind of going out to that main road, I think. And we'll put some trees and stuff in in the forefront, I think. Just some low-grade trees, just kind of balance it out. Also decorated the park a little bit more, so the park looks like this. A little hard to see with all the rain particles, but looks a lot better, I think. And I think at the back here we'll have higher density buildings. Our bank's right here, so we might want to consider moving it so it's not right on this main line. Uh, for that, we might just see if we can't flip it over onto the other side of the road here. And then that way it's not directly on the same line as the traffic coming inwards. And that should open up. Yeah, a few different uh, places. So we'll we'll go with a um, couple buildings like this. Let's see if we can't put a few in here.
quite a bit of stuff done today. We got the park set up. It's still not a uh, next level one, but it is getting there slowly. We need uh, 500 visitors for that. Um, but I think we're making a little bit of money, not a huge <laughs> $8. Okay, maybe we're not making a little bit of money. It fluctuates depending on if people come through that gate or not, I think. And now that we have the train station open, I think less people are coming through that way, so... Um, but it, it's good because that they, they're not hogging this intersection up trying to get over to the thing over here, so... Um, I just wish that we were making a little bit more money from it, but it's not a huge deal. We're making a little bit, like one, one fare. It's one, eight dollars, right? So... But it's mostly for aesthetics, so I'm not too concerned. And it's cheap enough where it's not like a huge burden or anything like that. Uh, on the um, subway station, we got uh, custom trains in. A little hard to see uh, what they look like. But um, we have the uh, some one from a, one of the DLCs and stuff. So um, I wonder if we can kind of get a view. So... It's a little hard because it just turned night, but we'll we'll take a look at it probably next episode. But um, it can have a capacity of like um, 240 people. So I noticed it was starting to back up over on this train station. So I thought it would add a little bit higher um, uh, higher capacity tr uh, metro um, rails in. So and I changed the color to red so it looked a little bit better as well, just to make it look a little cleaner uh when they come over the surface and stuff so outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i uh, will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out